Hey guys, Predzilla here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the new Godzilla Singular Point Trailer 3 that released not that long ago. Uh, in this video, it's going to be a bit of a breakdown, but more of a discussion from what we see in this trailer. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that we have is we have our best look at Godzilla in this trailer and seeing it in the anime and like all 3D and whatnot, I have very mixed feelings about it. Like the more I see it, the less I like it. I don't necessarily hate the design, but the big issue for me is the face. Like from a side view, it looks good, but looking directly at Godzilla's face, it just doesn't look good to me, but that is just my personal opinion. And like I said, I don't hate the design, and I actually like the design, but there would be some changes I would make to the design if I could. But out of that, we have our first look at the new Atomic Breath for Godzilla, which is the classic blue, but does seem to have a hint of purple in it, it seems. But my guess is is that it's just the red mist mixing mixing with the blue atomic breath, which is, you know, making it look like it's purple, which is, you know, it makes sense because blue mixed with red makes purple, so, you know. But out of that, we have our first look at Upgraded Jet Jaguar, which looks absolutely amazing. I 100% called that the smaller Jet Jaguar was the prototype, which isn't necessarily the case. I mean, it could be, but it isn't confirmed to be the case uh, because the smaller Jet Jaguar could be the final design, and then they use it to fight against uh, Anguirus from what we see in Trailer 2 is what Jet is going to be fighting against uh, the first time. But my guess is that they use it, but it gets, like, absolutely destroyed. So then they're like, we have to make some changes. So they upgrade him, and now he looks like this, which is epic. Also, it seems that the smaller form of Jet Jaguar was manually controlled. So, I think this new upgraded version is like, I'm not sure what you could call it, like an actual robot and AI controlled, I guess. Uh, which makes sense because we do see Jet doing some pretty acrobatic movement in this trailer, which looks really cool. And I like the fact that Jet is actually a robot, if this is the case, because, you know, that's what I prefer more than Jet being manually con controlled, but that is, you know, just what I like. But also, it seems that Jet will have a spear, or some sort of spear-like weapon, also a kind of gun-like weapon, and the shot where we see Jet have the gun it seems that Jet Jaguar also has like wheel feet here, which is pretty interesting. So if that is the case, then Jet Jaguar has two different kind of feet. One with like, you know, his regular feet, which does seem to have some sort of spring effect to it that maybe can make him jump higher, but that just might be the way it looks. Uh, but these new feet obviously are pretty beneficial for like going faster and kind of skating which makes it pretty cool so you might be able to get some new movements out of that than he would be able to with his regular feet so that is pretty interesting to see but we also see jet jaguar killing one of the rodans by stabbing the rodan in the mouth with the end of his spear which is very brutal and not necessarily something we really see in Godzilla like stuff. But, but there's also some other kind of things Godzilla did in the older movies that were kind of brutal, brutal, but not really as much. And 
nothing really as bloody though <laughs> but this is yeah, it does seem to have a lot of blood in it so I am pretty excited to see what is going to be going through this if we're going to see any more bloody battles which would be pretty cool but we also have a new look at Angurus which looks awesome this is definitely one of my favorite Angurus designs my favorite being the one from Final Wars this is probably my second favorite and then it's like the classic Shoah Angurus and then the first Angurus the first Angurus is my least favorite Angurus design uh, mainly because of, like the uh, the back part of Angurus was all weird and floppy and I think there was like a, a legitimate reason for that like for the suit itself was like that so there was nothing really that I could do or something like that I can't remember exactly but I didn't really like it like that I thought it was just weird which is a kind of thing that this Angurus has maybe I'm not 100% sure it looks like there's like some sort of well there is I'm not sure what it is but there's some sort of like thing that is kind of coming off of Rodan's back or not Rodan uh, Angurus's back and it looks weird so I'm not sure what that is about but we'll just have to see but we also you know it looks like from what we see it looks like Angurus isn't necessarily evil in this show uh, because we don't really see Angurus going out and attacking anything so far in this show which is a pretty common thing that we've seen Angurus do in the past we've never really seen Angurus go out and you know purposely destroy stuff besides in Final Wars but I feel like that was more of like Angurus being controlled or something like that I can't, I can't remember exactly the motivation behind the kaiju but I think there were like alien clones of the kaiju or something like that. I can't remember exactly um, but Angurus really isn't necessarily evil uh, from the older movies so this is kind of like maybe a thing that's going on with this as well where Angurus isn't necessarily evil is more like you know attacks when it's threatened and all or some kind of stuff like that which would be pretty interesting but we also have Manda confirmed for Singular Point and the new design looks odd and weird uh, it kind of reminds me of a, a bit of like a shark but like with like a kind of crab like legs a bit and yeah it's really weird and we also have one shot of Manda's tail which also shows Titanosaurus's tail too so maybe they're like I don't know pals or maybe they're fighting or whatever but this is the only new shot of Titanosaurus that we see in this trailer but we also see Manda attacking Godzilla which is very interesting so it does kind of confirm that Godzilla will be fighting other kaiju in this show which I'm all for and I feel like if they do do that I think it's going to be towards like Godzilla wanting to be the leader and you know obviously the king of the monsters but more of a bad guy kind of perspective like you know wanting to be I'm not sure what you could call it uh I guess you, know, you just call it the king the king of all the other monsters and you know be the most powerful monster there is uh the but in a less than like a for the balance and more towards because I'm the strongest beast and destroyer of everything or whatever like something like that but I don't think necessarily Godzilla wants to destroy the earth maybe I, I don't know we don't really know this new Godzilla's motivations maybe it's kind of like Godzilla wanting to destroy the humans because they're destroying the planet or something like that I don't know which is a pretty common Godzilla theme for more recent Godzillas or some other Godzillas but there's no saying for sure but we also have a new look at Gabra which looks absolutely terrifying as usual but this is just some random guess but maybe 
just maybe, because it seems that Gabra might be one of the more larger kaiju that we've seen uh, for this show so far. Though there's no saying for sure, because we don't know how big exactly Gabra is, but that's just what it looks like. So maybe in at least season one, Gabra is going to be kind of like the big bad, I guess is what you could say, against Godzilla. But of course, you know, Godzilla in the end ends up winning against uh, Gabra and, you know, is king of the monsters or something like that. And then maybe in season two or whatever, they tease like a bigger monster that maybe is coming from where these monsters come from or maybe from somewhere else, uh, which could possibly be King Ghidorah could be where what I would really want it to be is Destroya or maybe Biolante maybe you know just throwing random big monsters that Godzilla has fought before uh, that one of them end up coming and then it's like they need Godzilla but of course Godzilla is the bad guy so it's you know it's kind of like the similar kind of stuff that we've seen in the classic Godzilla's where Godzilla is not the hero, but also not necessarily the villain, like an anti-hero kind of situation. So that could be the thing here, but Godzilla still being, of course, a bad guy and destroying the city and all that kind of stuff. But this other kaiju is way more of a threat than Godzilla, and Godzilla, of course, doesn't like him either. So Godzilla kills and destroys him, and he's like, I'm king of the monsters, this is my world. You're not allowed to be here. And so, bye-bye. And, I don't know, something like that. But we also have new monsters revealed for the show. We have a new Hedorah, which is very surprising. I never thought we would ever get a new Hedorah. But this Hedorah is all blue and has, like, yellow, whitish eyes. Which looks very interesting. Uh, maybe this Hedorah is made out of water? Uh, maybe or maybe like some sort of gel kind of substance or whatever and also it seems that Hedorah isn't necessarily evil as well because we see her, what looks like Hedorah attacking the other kaiju uh, the other new kaiju I should say but we also have a shot which appears to be Jet Jaguar killing Hedora, because uh, Jet is doing like some sort of like, I guess you could say finishing pose, and we see like a bunch of blue stuff all over the place, and like something blue exploded, and we also see big blue chunks uh, all in other places, which heavily hints towards being Hedora. So I think here, Jet Jaguar kills Hedora, maybe, not one hundred percent sure. Or, again, maybe Hador is, like, a water kind of material, so this, absolutely, like, does absolutely nothing to Hador, and they're like, well, that just was unfortunate. Or maybe they kill Hador, then Hador comes back as pollution or something like that, and being more stronger or whatever. But the new, one of the other new kaiju that we have is... What seems to be Megalon or possibly Kmak or no, not Kmakers, uh, Kamunga. And because there's like very heavy evidence that hints towards Megalon, and there's other, other evidence that hints towards Kamunga. Uh, for example, the evidence that hints towards Megalon is that this kaiju has what looks like drill like hands, which is obviously hints towards Megalon, and also the mouth of this kaiju looks a lot like Megalon's mouth. But the skin color, which is kind of like, which is green and yellow, kind of hints towards Kamunga, but also the uh, yellow and greenish kind of color also kind of hints towards Megalon a bit, because Megalon did have a bit of yellow and not necessarily green, but like brown coloration. So 
the skin color, uh, you know, it, it could be Kamonga towards Kamonga, but also could be towards Megalon. But also the bug-like poster hints towards Kamonga, because when we see Megalon, Megalon is, I don't know, what you could call it, like a more humanoid than insect-like. And of course, Kamonga is more insect-like than anything. So that hints more towards Kamonga than it does Megalon. We also have a few shots of what seems to look like spider webs, which obviously hints towards Kamonga. And the color of the spider webs looking things uh, is like a yellowish color, which is the color of Kamonga's webs in Godzilla Final Wars. So that might be heavily hinting towards Kamonga. But also, like, the third option is that there is Megalon and Kamonga, but we just haven't seen Kamonga yet. Because, if I'm being honest, all the evidence that we have hints more towards Megalon than it does Kamonga. But, that is just my thought on that. But we also have another unknown kaiju, which I think is Kamakurus. And I say that because the claws look a lot like Kamakurus' claws. And I'll show an image of the classic Kamakurus so you can compare the two. And they do look a lot alike. And also we have one shot of, you know, the one shot that we've seen of Jet Jaguar killing Hedorah. We see behind Jet Jaguar, which looks like wings. So, you know, Kamakurus has wings, and this kaiju, which looks like it's attached to the claws, has wings. So that also is heavily connected to Kamakurus. But others had have suggested that the wings are connected to the Megalon, if it is Megalon. So, I mean, that could be, but I don't think it is. And there also has been other suggestions that the claws belong to Gigan. But I think that is very unlikely because, from what we can tell, this kaiju is more bug-like than, you know, what Gigan is. Plus, Gigan's an alien and not, like, a kaiju from the underworld or whatever is going on here it could be Gigan but with all the evidence that we have I think it's Kamakurus and it's not Gigan but if it is then okay I guess <laughs> that's just I don't know unexpected to be honest but that is all of what we have new in this trailer a lot of new stuff a lot of interesting stuff uh, definitely some exciting stuff uh, i'm very excited for this show this is the best trailer that we've had for godzilla singular point like i'm excited for Jet jaguar i'm excited for all these new kaiju i'm excited to see what godzilla's role is going to play in this show uh, if you know if godzilla's going to be fighting or whatever's going to i don't know it's a lot of you know unknown kind of stuff of you know when going into this so it's gonna be very interesting to see what is gonna be going on here but out of the, that we have that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time Bye bye